How you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf Kuf. Daf 100. Oh, that's a lot. In every other, in almost every other Masech, the Kuf is like a big milestone. Yeah, it's, you know, we still got another three months above a Basra. It's still awesome, though. A hundred is, is great. A hundred is still a hundred. A hundred is awesome. We're going to start in Daf Tzadi Tes Amud Beis about, I don't know, between five and eight lines, I'd say, from the bottom at the Mishnah, the beginning of the Mishnah. Zogt the Mishnah. We're going to do a Mishnah and Gemara today. Mikilu, from Mishnah to Mishnah. All right. Says the Mishnah, Bishayu Derech Harabim Overis Lesoch Sadeu. Ah, uh So you have a guy, and Rishus Harabim is passing through his field. Mom, uh, what is it? Bishayu Derech. So not necessarily, so, but a pathway that the public uses, and the pathway poshit goes right through his field. How annoying is that? If you're the guy. So you have a guy who has a field and there is a public path that runs through his field. So you know what he says? He says, I have a, okay, I, I want to do something about this. What I'll do is I will chaperine the path. It's no longer for them. It's for me. And instead, I will make a different path for them on the side of my field. I'll make a path and let them go on the side of my field. Why do they have to walk right through my field? Okay. So, so not law. So if he kind of, uh, um, takes control, takes ownership of the path for his, you know, it's now part of his field. He, he annexes the path. And we've seen this before, by the way. And he, and he gives them a, an alternate route on the side of his field. So it doesn't go straight through his field. Mashinosin nosin vishalo lo higio. He is in big trouble. Okay, he, he, he did not help himself one iota. Mashinosin that which he gave is given. The alternate route is now claimed by the public. Vishalolo igio, and what he, 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 he annexed for his own use is not his. I.e., the public now has two paths. The initial path that went straight through the field, he's unable to annex that, and the alternate path that he created they keep so now they get right public two guy zero derech ayochid dalid amis a a the way of an individual is four amis wide derech harab sheish esrei amo a rishus harab is 16 amis wide as you know from mesech to shabbos derech amelech ein lo shir the way of a king has no limit he can, he's the king after all all the, also the progression to a funeral on the way to a burial to ha, has no uh, limit, has no size. Hamaimid, uh, so when it comes to a maimid, we're going to learn about maimids um, at the end of today's daf. Dayanitzipori amu base arba kabin. So the Dayanitzipori, and Rajbam says something which I think is interesting. Says lo isparish. I don't know who. It's not explained who these Dayanitzipori are. I think it is a uh, um, sort of allusion, a reference to a Gemara in uh, Sanhedrin that we will get to soon, ish. Um, and that Yuzan Rebez that kind of lists all these kind of things. So de Pumbedisa, you know, we said uh, um, Dayone. I think it's Dayone, but there's um, what was it? Uh, uh, Shmuel and Karna are who Shmuel and Karna? They are the um, I don't know, something de Bavel or something? I forget now. But uh, I think they come up maybe even like tomorrow or something. Or maybe they came up the other day. I can't remember. Um, anyways, yeah, who were they? Shmuel and Karna. I feel like it came up the other day. Uh, come on. Come up. Come up. Oh. No. Come on, the people are waiting, no? Really? Where? Where? What, how long ago was this already? Why can't I find... Oh, what's this? I don't know, that's it. Oh, okay. I gotta go weiter, I think. 
why why is this taking so long? Wait, should I? This is, I feel like I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning of uh, 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 oh oh my gosh, this is not right. New karma, get me where I need to go. Uh, this is no good. All right. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, okay, uh, this is ridiculous. I gotta go right there. One more page. Uh, one more. Oh, blah, 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 I don't know. All right, people, there you go. Well, okay, but I only started six minutes ago, so you couldn't have been waiting six minutes. So, uh, okay, sorry for the wait. It was worth it, though. It was worth it. Da fine. It was worth it. Right there. Um, fine. So, all right, so the Dayani Tsipori, so and we don't know who they are, right? Dayani Gola is Shmuel and Karna. Um, so, Amu base Aiba Kabin, um, a. Uh, 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 like a base saw, okay, a saw is four calves, okay, a base arba carbon would be, I guess, two thirds of that. Um, so like a base saw is 50, is 2,500 square amas, and, uh, I guess, um, two thirds of that would be a base arba carbon. It says the Gemara, amilo hi gi o, ba du da da da. How, okay, so we said in the Mishnah that if you have a guy, and he owns a field, and there's a there's a derech harabim, right? There's a public uh, a thoroughfare pathway path that that goes right through his field. It's obviously annoying for him, so he figures, let me annex the path, and instead I will provide for them an alternate route through the side of my field, not right, so it's not snack in the middle. We say not only does that not work, he now needs to provide both the original path as well as the alternate path now. But why? Why why can't he annex that that annoying path and provide an alternate route? Lindko Pizra, let him sit there with a stick. Vilesa, let, let him sit there with, there with a stick. And anybody who takes the path through the middle of the field, he hits him with the stick. That sounds like a good solution. What are we supposed to infer from here that a person cannot take matters into his own hands when it is going to cause him a loss? Here it's causing him a loss. These people are walking right through his field. He wants to prevent them, so he wants to sit there with a stick. He's not allowed to do that to prevent a loss. All my ribs vid, Mishmed the Rava says, Ribs vid, Mishmed the Rava, Gezeira Shema Yite Loin Derech Akaloson. Well, there's, we're concerned. We're concerned that he's not going to take the right, right, the the interests of the public seriously. That um, that he's gonna he's gonna annex the their path for his own use for his field, and he, hey, he'll give them you know a makeshift kind of yeah whatever you know here take this instead kind of thing. So because we we want to avoid that that potential, we say just don't do it. But Mishash Mishmei the Rove all my says Mishash Mishmei the Rove. It's Davka when he provides a shvach uh, path for them. In the event that he annexes the, the, the public path and gives them like a chaval path, a nebuch a, a path, so then he can't sit there with a stick. Ravashi says, min atzad Interesting. Ravashi says that by definition, this is a uh, sort of uh, out of the way, an inconvenient path by definition. Why by definition? Well, because the original path went smack through the field, smack through the middle of the field. He's building an alternate route around right, uh, the, right, right in the uh, by the side of the field. By definition, the saw si the side he's going to choose one side of the field. By definition, it's going to be closer to some people and more con more convenient for them. But it's going to be further from other people and be inconvenient for them. So by definition, you're going to be inconveniencing people by, dis by, by when, when it's on the side of the field. So by definition, it's, it's, it's a, um, going to be an inconvenient route, at least for some. It's going to be closer for some people, sure, but further for others. 
Okay, fine. Okay, so I understand why he can't have this alternate route plan of his. He's got, he can't annex the main route. He's got to give it to the people. Fine. But why does he have to also forfeit the alternate route that he constructed? Let him at least get that back. Let him say to them, Shaklu didhu, Vavuli didi. Okay, fine. Take your main path that goes right through my field. Fine. You want it? Take it. But at least give it. Okay, so take that, but at least give me back the alternate route. At least that. Right? Why do you get both now? At least give me back the alternate route. Haman Rebbe Eliezer. Well, this is the opinion of Rebbe Eliezer. The town is willing to rest Rebbe Yudah Omer. Mishum Rebbe Eliezer says Rebbe Yudah Rebbe Eliezer. Rabim Shebeiru Derech Le'atzmon that if the public uh, um, um, uh, I don't know, Beiru, how do you define Beiru? They basically chaperine a way for themselves. Masha Beiru, Beiru. What they chaperine, they chaperine. Okay. So therefore, once the Rabbim chaperine the alternate route, it's theirs. The Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbim Gazlonim Nenu. Why, why does that make sense? What is the public? They're a bunch of thieves, a bunch of crooks. What, they just go around taking stuff and it becomes theirs? Omr of Gidol Amarav, says of Gidol Amarav, Kigoin she'ovda lo'en derech bosa sode. Says of Gidol Amarav, well, it's talking about where the public, the people, they had um, lost, I guess they, they had a, a path in that field which got lost. And I guess now that uh, in this alternate path emerges and they start using it, it becomes there. It's a, I guess it's like some form of like reclaiming that which was theirs. But Iyachi, if that's the case, that the reason why it's theirs is because it was lost and they're just kind of reclaiming it. Iyachi, am I Omer Rabbi Baravuna? Then Omer Rabbi, then why does Rabbi Baravuna say in the name of Rabbi? Ain't Allah or Rabbi Eliezer? The Allah is not like Rabbi Eliezer. Why wouldn't it be like Rabbi Eliezer? It sounds like they're just reclaiming that which was theirs. And for the Gemara, that, um, you know, we, we just had two opinions of, 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 of Rab, Amr of Gidol Amr we also had a Rab Bar Funa Amr that, you know, Rav Gidol didn't, I guess, know of or agree with or have the teaching of Rav. Uh, Rab uh, Barfuna and Rab Barfuna didn't have the teaching of Rav Gittel. I guess right, there's I guess two alternate versions. The time am I okay? Now according to Rabbi, uh, according to Rav Huna, Rab Barfuna Omer Rab, who says the Allah is not like Rabbi Eliezer, so why why not? Why is that? Not, uh, so if the, so, the, what would be the reason for Rabbi Eliezer? I mean, meaning. We had said that the public took the path. We said, what, are the public a bunch of thieves? No, it's a path that they already had. Well, if it's a path that they already had, well then, why wouldn't the Allah be like Rebbe Eliezer? So that's, that's the question. Uh, yeah, so if we're saying that the Allah, well, right, why wouldn't it be like Rebbe Eliezer? So, right, because Rabbi Rafuni said the Allah is not like Rebbe Eliezer, but Mistam, it should be like Rabbi Eliezer if they're just uh, um, taking back that which is theirs. Well, Rabbi, R- well, R- Rabbi Rafuna didn't hold, I guess, like Rav Gidol Amarab, which means that it's it's not talking about where they're taking back that which was theirs. Well, if it's not talking about that, then why does Rabbi Eliezer say that it's allowed? Right? right? If he's saying that the Allah is not like Rabbi Eliezer because they're not taking back that which is theirs, well, then why would Rabbi Eliezer say that they're allowed to take it? So, time by time, I'm Mishum Rabbi Yehuda Amarav. Like Rabbi Yehuda Amarav, Rabbi Yehuda Amarav, Meitzor Shechzika Bo Rabim Osir Lekalkelo. That a a uh, that a path that the public has uh, requisitioned, you can't mess it up. You have to leave it for them. Rabbi Eliezer, Rabim B'May Kanule. How are they being konet? How are they being kone at this path? Be'ilucha, by walking on it. The Tanya is willing to write, so halach ba, l'orka v'lerach ba, if you walk on a path, it's length and it's width, kono, makum ilucha, you are kone the place where you walk to Rebbe Lezer, that's Rebbe Lezer's opinion. Chacham say, no, walking 
wouldn't work until you make a proper chazaka, like 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 to dig and put in a fence or whatever. Okay, I'm Rebelazer, my time is Rebelazer. Says Rebelazer, why does Rebelazer say that walking is enough? The Rebelazer says, Kum salich bar tzlo yakol rachbo. Kilchot nenu. It says, by Avraham Avinu, go walk in Eretz Yisrael. And I'm giving it to you. Uh, because I'm going to give it to you. So walking is significant. Rabban and Hasim, Mishum Chavivusa da Avraham. Who? De Kamerle. Hochi. That, no, there's only out of the belovedness of Avraham Avinu that Hashem says to Avraham Avinu, to walk all around there. So Kadesh Noach Lich Bosh Lefnei Bono said it should be easy to capture for 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 his descendants because he already had walked there, already you know made it like uh, he's bequeathing it to them. Okay, all right. So according to Rabbi the the public uh, is kind of making a kinya on it by walking on it. Um, all right. And Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Chanina says Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Chanina Modem Chacham Rabbi Yezer. That the Chacham admits that there's a Bishvil Shokram in a path in a vineyard of an Isa Lehiluch, Niknamiluch. Since the path is made for walking on, so you could be Kone through walking on it. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. He also the comment of Yitzchak when Bar Ami, when a case like this came before Rav Yitzchak, um, 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 when a, when a Shvil Shokram came before Rabbi Yitzchak Bar Ami, Rabbi Yitzchak said to them, Havu lei ki eichi didari tuna dishavishta. So when a, when a case of a uh, path through a vineyard came to Rav Yitzchak Bar Ami, he said, Havu lei ki eichi didari tuna dishavishta. Make sure that you give a, a path that's wide enough that you would be able to uh, hold like a, a, a bunch of like twigs and, and branches and stuff on your back for hodder and you could turn around in all directions and you would have enough room to do all that. And that's only if there are, there are fences on either side of the path, right? Um, you know, but if there are no fences and therefore there's nothing stopping you, there's nothing preventing you, there's no obstacles to you turning around. Well, then the path just needs to be thin enough that you can walk on it. Um, right, because there's no there's no fences on either side that are like preventing you from turning around properly. So therefore, um, um, uh, right. So therefore, just a path that you could walk in would be enough in that scenario. The way of an individual is for Amis Tana Acherim say Kadesh Yaber Chomer B'Maso. Uh, the path for an individual has to be wide enough that a donkey can pass through with its burden. Um, Ravuna says that Ravuna Allah Kachim, the Allah is like a is like a chim. Tonu Dayani Gola. Ah, Dayani Gola. Ah, I knew it came up again. It took me a few minutes before to find it 30 daf ago. It's right on today's daf. Um, space cadet. Um, two like Amis in a half. Ravuna says the Lach is like that. Ravuna said the Lach is like the Chaim, the, the, the donkey with its load. Well, the donkey with its load and the two and a half Amis are the same. Which is weird though because didn't the mission just say it has to be four Amis? Why are we saying two and a half Amis? I don't know, I didn't really get that. Um, the 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 way of the of the of the of the of the public where the public thoroughfare is sixteen amos to rabbanon. The chayochid arba amos. The way of an individual is four amos. There meir leir shmona amos from one city to the next, like a highway, has to be eight amos. So you can have um, you know people traveling in both directions. The chayochid sheishes re amos. The a public area, a public thoroughfare is sixteen amos wide. There are miklot. The way to the, the the ways to the Ari Mikla to the cities of refuge Shloshim Vishtaim Amis thirty two Amis wide uh Omar of Huna Ravuna says my crow where do we see this in the puzzle Dikhsiv Tochin Lika Ha Derech Derech Ha Derech that Derech would be sixteen it says Ha Derech to double it to say thirty two Derech Amelech in the Shir the way of the king has no amount. Shamelech porates gather lasus lo derech vimemachin biyodo because a king can break down fences to make a path for himself and nobody could stop him. The king is the king; he does whatever he wants. Derech hakever in lashir and the the procession to a burial has no amount. Mishmikar the shichva as because of the honor of the nifter. 
right? Chaval, that like they're on, they're, they're, they're going to bury somebody and, and, and there's like issues with the people and the, where can they walk, where can't they walk? So the Kvod Mace, we just let the people walk where they want. A Maimid, then it's Poyo Mubas, Dalid, Kavan, Chulet, Tarnabon, and the Abbas taught, Hamoche Kivro. Okay, so I, I guess it, it used to be, I guess maybe it's also like this now, I don't know, that people would like have like the burial places, right? You Like a family, and we're going to learn about it in, in tomorrow's daf in the Mishnah, they'd have these cri- uh, crypts, the, these catacombs and crypts that they would have like all these like inserts where you could put bodies, dead bodies. And um, so like a family, I guess, would have a bunch of, of, of these uh, um uh, um, uh, what's the insert? I guess, uh, I don't know, uh, graves, I guess. Uh, they have a bunch of them. So, so, um, um, so if one, if, if a family member sold his spot, so, uh, somebody who sells his, his, his spot, Derek Kivro, or the way, uh, to his spot, Mokumamado or the place where they would stand. We're gonna to get to that in a second. Uvesaspedo or the place where they would eulogize him. Bon bin Mishpachta, Mishpache, the Kovin also al Korcho Mishum Pigam Mishpacha. It's basically it sounds like it's basically null and void. The family could say, Who are you? Right? You say to the buyer, Who are you? and bury their relative there and and, and do all the things in all the places and the the place where they stand and they eulogize and they Walk and they bury. We do no less than seven standings and sittings for a nifter. I assume shot is right. Hevel is one. Havolim is two. Is two more. So that's three. Amr Koelis Hevel Havolim another three. That's six. Hakol Havel seven. So therefore we do seven sittings and standings. Amr of Achabre the Rav the Rav Ashi Hechi Av they how do they do the sittings and the standings Amr Le. So it says of Ashi, um, Kedetanya, as we learn in the Brisa, Amar of Yehuda, says Rabbi to be Yehuda, that in Yehuda, in the area of Yehuda, Barishonu lohayu pochasim yeshivim maimadus moshavus lemes. Initially, there would be no less than seven sittings and standings for a nifter. Kigon, for example, imdu yikarim amodu, okay, people, stand up, shvu yikarim shvu, sit down. That they, it was part of the procession. The people would stand and they would sit and they would this and they would that. Amulo, they said to, um, to, uh, uh, was it Rabbi Yehuda, right? Well, if it's just about sitting and standing, well, then they should be able to do this even on Shabbos. After the Rami by Papa, the sister of Rami by Papa, having a Siva Lei, the Rav Avi was married to Rav Avi Shriva and she died. Over the Maimir Moshev and Rav Avya at the funeral procession did sitting and standing. On Rav Yosef Tarbatate, Rav Yosef said that Rav Avya made two mistakes. Number one, Tarshain Osin Elabikrovim, that the sitting and the standing would be done only by relatives, but he did the sittings and the standings even with non relatives. And secondly, you only do the sittings and the standings on the, on the, on, on the day of, 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 of the Ptira. And he did it on the second day. Abai Yom says Abai Bar Nami told that this, the, there was an additional mistake. Shein Osin Elav Beis Hakvaris that they do the sittings and standings in the Beis Hakvaris who also but here but he did it in the city. Rav Amar Bar Nami told Rav says he also made a mistake on the following Shein Osin Elo B'Makom Shinagu Vasim Lo No that they would only do the sittings and the standings if that was the Minig Amokim but over there where Rav was the Taka wasn't the Minig so he shouldn't have done it. Meisved Asakasha on Abai who says. That they only do it in the base Hakvaris. So Amulo, they said to him, "Kain af b'Shabbos Mutter Lasos Kain." Right? They said to Rab, to Rab, to Rabbi Yehuda, "Well, the, if the sittings and standings, right? It's basically just sitting and standing. So you could even do it on Shabbos. Vi Amad b'Beis Hakvaris. And if you're saying that the, it happens in the base Hakvaris, Uvi Yom Echad, and on the first day, base Hakvaris b'Shabbos, my boy. Then why would you be in the base Hakvaris on Shabbos? Be a smuchel the base Hakvaris. I'm too benish moshes. Well, it could be in a city that was very." Close to the Beis Akvaris, and they buried the, the Nifter Mamish right before Shabbos. That by the time uh, 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 the sittings and standings came around, it was already um, Shabbos. That was the Kuf of Mesechta Bava Metzia. Open your piece up.